Hey, Just Bricks here with another video for you. Uh, today I'm going to do a bit of a haul, a very short haul. Um, picked up two copies of this set here, 75283 from Walmart the other night. Uh, they weren't on sale or anything, just seemed like a pretty good part out value as it was. It was over two, two and a, it was like two and a half times part out value, which didn't seem too bad, especially seeing as the uh, minifigures are already half the value of the set. So I figured they can only go up from there. Um, I might pick up a couple more of these later on, but uh, honestly, I'm hoping to be able to keep one each of the, the Stormtroopers and the Ahsoka minifigures, just because I really liked the Clone Wars series. I just finally watched through it last year, and... Uh, I really liked the character of Ahsoka and uh, wanted to have that minifigure in my collection. But she's going to be kept in new condition until after I've started making money back from those sets. That way, if I feel like I need to, I can go ahead and sell her too. Um, also, I got this giant package here today from Amazon. Nothing terribly exciting. Let's see if I can open this one in. Sure why they packed it in such a large box. And there it is with an awful lot of packing tape. I did buy this used. It's just an Acro Mills container. 64 drawers. Um, it's actually my first Acro Mills this size. Let's see if I can get that off. I have one with the big drawers that I purchased earlier. Looks like I'm gonna have to clean this one a little bit. Looks rather dusty. Ziploc bag full of dividers in the other. Okay. A little random. Sorry, my finger got in the way there. Um, so yeah, got that. It's, it is a little dusty. It looks mostly like it was just, it was labeled and they tried to peel the labels off and there's a little bit of residue left. So, ah oh yeah, they're actually clean on the inside. Okay, so it's just label residue. So it was about I think eight bucks cheaper than the going rate for the new ones right now. So I went ahead and picked one up. See, I'm hoping here shortly to uh, do a little bit of a expanded room tour of what exactly my space looks like right now. So yeah, I recently discovered that I'm going to have room for more drawers on this shelf that I just picked up recently. I'm going to go ahead and get that set up a little bit and then show you guys what exactly is going on there. But for the rest of this video, I have, I think, three orders to pick. Uh, first order right here is just some used minifigure parts and a Lord of the Rings minifigure. Looks like organizer C and E. Oh, actually, some of those are new parts. Some new minifigure parts and a used minifigure. Okay, so I need organizer C. Right there. And organizer E. Right there. Get the minifigure parts first. So I got O, E, 1. Some robin legs. And two minifigure heads from OE2 from the Death Eater Death Eater dummy from the I think it's Room of Requirements set. Yep. Okay. Should be 
all from OE for today. And then OC, nine. There we go. So I'll get that order packed up real quick. Out of little padded envelopes right now. Well, not out of them, just out from that stack. I'm almost out of these teal ones. I'm going to have to move to some of these ugly green ones, like that one. It's not a very pleasant color green. Okay, and I'll get that packed in that bag. 9938. I'm going to try doing that when I pick the order so I can see which one it is. And I don't have to uh, show what the person's address is. Okay, drawer 35. I got a skeleton. They bought one of my two skeletons, so I can get one of them out of there. That's from Lord of the Rings, The Mines of Moria. And Green Shoe Box 1. No, that's one. That's the problem with these things is I never put them back in the right order. Let's see, let's see. There it is. Pearl Gold Soft Axle 16L curved from assembly. And that's all for that order. Decided to go ahead and reuse this Lego bag to hold that. Um, flexible piece there, and then I put this, the um, skeleton in its own bag inside of that. I almost said scarecrow, and that is definitely not a scarecrow. Last order should be the most interesting one. It's the biggest one, and I ordered a piece that I wasn't sure was ever going to sell. Let's see, drawer 12. What we got from drawer 12? We got two reddish brown doors with windows. I think those are from the uh, Friends. Central perk set. A couple pieces in there for windows and door frames and things. Drawer 37. I really gotta get this stuff out of here. Drawer 37. Two of these frames. In this, in this kitchen. wasn't anything inside the drawer, it was just a roll of stickers. And two door frames, also from the Friends Central Perks. All right. Yeah, it's been a little bit since I've been doing videos, trying to get back in the swing of things. With my, my camera not working there for a little bit, it got a little, well, it got easy to put things off. I filmed a couple videos and then couldn't use either of them, or any of them, because the sound kept cutting out. Um, should be able to use this phone for recording. It's not that big a deal. Not too much of a difference in video quality. I, at least I haven't noticed any. Oh, definitely my little sorter tray for this one. That piece has also been in my inventory for quite some time. As evidence because it was all the way at the bottom of that drawer <laughs> and now I got to put all that back in there would you look at that I was wrong I do need organizer E again it's not super often I get orders that need parts from organizer E uh, organizer E number 15 number 15 Got one of these hoodie torsos this is from the Lego Ludo game. Parted out I think, three or four copies of that. I think four, actually, now. And minifigure parts have actually been the slowest moving part that I have from that. Okay, and this is the part, or these are the parts that I was thinking of. I wasn't sure if they would ever actually sell. Oh, they bought both of the female class, but not the, both the male. I mean, not all three of the male. Oh. That's because I had three of the male and only two of the female. Weird. I don't know. Okay, OG-11. Oh, boy. That's yet another thing I've done poorly. <laughs> I 
think my thought was, I'm not going to sell too many watch parts, so I'll just throw them all in one compartment, because that way I don't have to deal with it, except for when I actually get the orders, and save room for everything else that actually does sell. These watches, I had a bunch of watch pieces that came in a bulk lot. And then I also was going down the road one day and I saw a sign that said free in a, in a person's driveway. And there's a bunch of random items there. And one of those random items was a Lego Yoda watch. So I picked it up and parted it out into my store. I think this piece is really cheap in my store because I don't know. I don't know how to change the battery in it. I can't get the back to come off and I don't want to tear it up. So I figured I'd just sell it as it is. And if somebody wants it, they can get it for like two cents. Um, drawer 84. The torso. There we go. And that's from one of the hidden side sets. Which I got a couple nearly complete hidden side sets in a bulk lot already. There we go. And I think that's all. So, and bag that order up. And I'll, I think I'll be done. In this last order, I don't know why, but I'm going to give them a sticker too. Bloop. In the bag it goes. And I think that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you, uh, if you have any questions or anything about how I do my store or any comments on how I could probably improve it, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And uh, until next time, y'all have a good one.